Hey guys, my name is Angelia and welcome back to another part of my speed build for my upcoming murder mystery series that will be coming in October. Um, I know I've been slacking on this build. It's, I mean, I've been going through so much stuff with my back and this week actually I have to go do an outpatient, well, outpatient procedure and basically get a ne needle uh, injected into the nerves in my spinal cord, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, kinda gonna be out of commission for a day or two, I think they said, but I'm gonna be pre-recording, so there'll still be videos going up, but bear with me if I miss a day or two. Um, but right now, we are working on this house build again, which I really need to get done, um, and I'm sorry this is going up in place of Minecraft Monday, because I know a lot of you do watch that, but I thought you guys might like to see this more, and I was really excited to get this part up, so we're gonna skip Minecraft Monday this week, and we're gonna go for the speed build. So right now I'm working on the backyard, you're gonna be seeing me go through a lot of stuff with this backyard, um, and not all of it I keep. There's a lot of deleting of items, there's a lot of revamping certain areas, um, and I, as of right now, I'm not completely happy with the backyard the way it is. Um, I feel like the pool turned out really nice once I actually get done with it because I add some stuff in like the little middle island. I really wanted like a walkthrough area going through the pool. I thought that would be really cool. So I did go ahead with that. Um, and at one point, I do try to fit in like a jacuzzi and it just did not work out with this build, man. It was like way too bulky. Like I wish we could get the jacuzzis to go underground like a pool does. That would be ideal. Like I feel like I would like that a lot better. So maybe someday we will get underground freaking jacuzzis. I would really like that actually. Um, but I am working on the pool. This takes me a hot minute to get through it. Um, if you see like little pauses here and there in the video, it's because I was looking at pictures. Like I was literally googling photos like, okay, let me see what I can do here and trying to get some references of what I had in mind. Like I could see it in my head how I wanted it to look, but I'm a very visual person. So having those photos in front of me while I'm building helps. Um, so that's what you're, that's what all these pauses are about. Um, and any like certain cutscenes that happen is because of either I had something else to do or probably I stopped recording. Like I record these parts in little chunks and I just kind of put them all together in one long video. Um, I think this one is like 30 some odd minutes I believe. Um, I really wanted that little glass gazebo -y thing to work so I just wind up expanding that section of the pool to make it fix. I was determined that was gonna be on this freaking pool. I thought it was a really cute idea and I needed it there. <laughs> so it stays. Um, and I really liked the lanterns being like, you know, sort of little pathway lights. I don't know. I thought it was a cute idea. Um, and the backyard is still not done. Like, I'm struggling trying to think of ideas of what else to stuff back there. Like, I feel like I picked a way too big of a lot for this build. I probably should have picked a smaller one and downsized a lot, but it is supposed to be like a mansion sort of a deal, so I'm doing my best to fill up the space. That's usually my number one issue when I build, is that I make things too big and then I have so much empty space and I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. It's just like a really bad habit. And you're in, later, later on in this video, in about like 15-ish minutes, um, you're gonna be seeing me start the inside of the house and Oh my gosh, there's so much empty space on the bottom floor and I really don't know what to put there. Like, I'm gonna end up putting like some couches and maybe a piano or something. I haven't really decided yet. I need to look at some more pictures for some visual reference. Um, and actually the inside of the house, I'm sort of basing the layout off of what this murder mystery is based off of. If you've ever read the novel And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie, it is actually based off of that. So if you know that poem, like The Ten Little Indians or I don't even know what the crap they call it anymore. There's so many different names for that. Ten Little Soldiers, I think, is also one. Um, but if you know that, then that's basically what this is going to be based off of. However, if <laughs> Emily's going to love this one. If you have ever seen or heard of the Rooster Teeth production, Ten, what, Ten Little Roosters, or was it? I don't remember. What the crap was it called, M? Was it Ten Little Roosters? I don't remember. Um, but they did something similar, so it's going to be sort of more like that than it is the actual Agatha Christie novel. Um, I really, I wanted to have some twists and turns and for 
things that are unexpected to happen. Um, and I've had this planned since I started YouTube, like, since my first actual video of the Four Immortal Sisters went up, I had that idea in my head that I wanted to do this come October for Halloween time, and it's really fun actually getting to do it. Um, it's gonna be a very in-depth series, there's gonna be a lot of cutscenes in parts of it. Um, it's not scripted, I guess, but there's gonna be cutscenes to show what happens, because if you're not familiar with the source material, um, it, there's a bunch of murders that take place. So those are things I kind of have to film prior to actually filming the episode, you know? So there's going to be like little scenes in injected into little parts of each episode. Um, it's probably going to want to be one at the beginning and one at the end. It's so, like the one at the beginning will cover the clue and stuff like that, and the one at the end will cover the death and re and go back over that clue to make you go, oh, that's what that clue meant. That sort of deal, you know. So that's where we're going to go with. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited about it. Um, they are going to be Disney characters. Uh, I asked on Twitter who his favorite Disney characters were. A lot of you answered like really big characters, like the main ones, which is fine, but I wasn't planning on having any princesses or anything in it, just because here's why. Before anyone gets mad at me, a I am a princess girl. I consider myself a princess, and I love Disney princesses. But um, it would make me incredibly sad if I had to kill off my Disney princesses, and that's legit the only reason that they're not going to be a part of this. But we are going to be doing more like a sidekick thing. So I feel like the princesses and the princes get enough love, and the sidekicks don't, you know. So we're going to be doing mostly them. Like, I might have a guest on. I mean, I know he's a main character, but you don't see him as much as you do, like, Belle and the Beast and all of that, so. Um, yeah. This is me trying to fit in a stinking jacuzzi. I, I had it in my head that it would look really cute with, like, a little gazebo wrapped around it, but it didn't. Because I really wanted, like, a little gazebo roof on top. Because, um, I was actually sort of basing that off of my grandparents' jacuzzi, which actually sits in, like, a little enclosed fence area but it has a roof on it and that's kind of what I was basing it off of but I just it just wasn't working so I wind up having to scrap the jacuzzi idea completely because it just uh, it was just ticking me off the entire time <sighs> and now I'm yawning um and yeah I, I go through a couple of fences and I actually leave it there for a second and then I look at it I'm like nope I hate it yep I hated it I still hate it I'm looking at it, I'm like no it's bad I was trying to figure out a place to put that dang wishing well. I was just like, oh, it's too cluttered over here. I'm done. I got rid of it. <laughs> I, my patience just left. I don't know why I wound up putting that stupid freaking wishing well there. I, I really don't know. I was just trying to find a nice place to stick it and I was like, hey, maybe this would look cute. No, it didn't. It didn't. I do move it, so <laughs> don't worry. And even now I'm like looking at some of this and going, hmm, maybe I should move this, maybe I should move that. But I am happy with the way the actual pool like area right there came out with the little table and all of that. I can't remember what I did next. What did I do next? Oh, I started, I think I started shaping some of the inside of the house because I just got so frustrated with the outside. <sighs> I'm yawning. I'm, try I'm like looking at this trying to remember what I did because I did this part like about a week ago. Right now I'm just obviously adding stairs so nothing too big. <laughs> um, I was having issues getting this freaking staircase to work the way I wanted it to work. I just I really wanted it to like be open a little bit more. Which I do eventually get to do, but I had to like draw a wall to separate it as a room and then I could delete it. I don't know. The Sims is weird when it comes to that sort of thing. Like the fence didn't count. It had to be the actual room. Um, so now I'm just replacing all of it with a little fence and then I go and I'm able to delete it. I had changed the color because it just wasn't matching the actual like stair color. Um, and then I realized, oh, I need to delete this part. Because that looks goofy. I just wanted it to be a little bit more of an open stairway at the top. 
Um, and I forgot how many floors I actually made this stinking house, which is, I mean, it's a good thing because then I can have more room for the sims to go and all of that. It's just, I don't know what I'm gonna put in those spaces. Like, we might have a few libraries or something. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of different rooms to have. I think that room ends up being a bathroom. I'm almost positive that becomes a bathroom. Um, I don't actually remember because I didn't build on this floor today when I was recording for this video. I was having some issues shaping the rooms and like how big I wanted each room, where I wanted them, blah 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 and all that. Um, and for me, I don't like perfectly square rooms. Like I like having the the um the like walls at the angle like that because I've, I don't know. I feel like square. It makes it look just look oh, it makes it look so boxy. And I I don't know. I just I'm not a fan of that sort of thing. I like having a little bit more of a variety in my rooms. Um, I just made a hallway. I don't know why. I just I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try and make this a little bit more realistic and not a hallway. I think these are actually meant to be bedrooms. Those two big ones and then that little octagonal one. Was, or was it hexagonal? I think it was hexagonal. It was supposed to be a bathroom. I didn't actually base the second floor off of the actual build, um, but I did base the first floor off of it. I need to go back and probably look at the second floor models and all that and figure out what else to add. Maybe I'll add like a music room upstairs. I might go back. <laughs> I might pick up my old uh, Clue game board and be like, hmm, let's add this and let's add that from there. Uh, I really wanted to add a fire pit, but I was just finding like the big ones for some reason. I couldn't find the tiny ones, so I was having some issues with that. And then I wind up finding it a little bit later after I get done messing with this. And I did a lot of like flower work in this episode as well. Just adding some more stuff to the outside and making it pretty. Yeah, what I wanted, I wanted the one, the like campfire that allows you to attach the seating to it. And it just was not happening, but that one does, so... That one I'm actually able to attach it to, which is nice. Which is what I really wanted to do, which is, it was being grumpy with me. I'm like looking at this trying to remember exactly what I did. I wanted to space it apart because I didn't want the couch to catch on fire. <laughs> like, that was legit the reason I moved it away. I just, I don't trust my sims, man. They're all a bunch of klutzes. I thought those little lights would be really cute. And I add that um, big lantern tree. So I really wanted it to sort of like encompass it and just like be sort of floating over it. I don't know. I thought it was a cute idea. I do remember that I do add like a little patio outside of the door to the backyard. Um, and I add like this really nice bar area, which I thought was a pretty genius idea on my part. Maybe that's tooting my own horn, but I thought it was cute. Um, and I feel like the little bar area turned out really, really nice. Like it's probably my favorite asset of the house at this moment. I just made like a little flower bed and covered it with rocks to make it look like I was outlining it, you know? Because we don't actually like have those types of, I guess, fences they would be in The Sims. Because you know like some flower beds they have like that white sort of like, I don't know, like tile or ceramic going around it and like little curves. Uh, I think that'd be a cute idea if we ever got that, I'm just saying. I wanted a lot of flowers. I wanted it to be looked livid in. Livided? lived in and I don't know. Now I'm, I'm actually building that bar that I was talking about. Um, I thought it was a really cool idea. I've seen some houses have this and that's why I actually wound up doing it because I've seen houses have this and I was like, you know, this would be kind of cool and it would really fit in with what I have in mind for this because it's, I mean, this is based off of someone who's really rich and who would have something like this. So and the arches actually fit perfectly. I was I was shocked I got the sizing right on the first try. Because usually that does not happen. I think I did a different color. Yeah, I want it to look a little bit more like Tuscan, I guess. Um, I, I just wanted to kind of offset it from the rest of the house. But it still matches like the extended wings off of the rest of the house, you know? So, I don't know. I think it turned out really nice. Um, I believe I put like little statues or something on the ends of the stairs so you can't see under them. I still don't remember which one I used. 
which is probably bad. I really wanted to utilize- there we go, that's what I use. I wanted to use um, some romantic garden stuff because I felt like that sort of a feel really worked with this build. Um, just a lot of flower and clutter. I just put some grass under there because I feel like, you know, grass would probably be growing under there. Um, I don't know, it seems very realistic to me. I like adding little dirt smudges because I feel like that looks more realistic as well. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Um, I was having issues grabbing the roof trim. Like, it was not working with me. I wound up manually having to go and grab instead of being able to just use the coning tool. But I do think it came out really nice. And now I'm just going to start working on the inside, it looks like. Um, and you're going to be seeing me start to shape the, uh, like the first floor of the house, mostly. We're going to be going through um, the living... Well, not the living room yet. We didn't do the living room. I did the main entryway. I did the dining room. And I did the library. Because there is a library in the house. It's on the first floor. I think it looks really nice. I really like the library. Um, the dining room I was having... I don't know. I'm like I feel like I didn't add enough in it. But I still think it looks nice. I was trying to make it a nice like golden white feel when you see it. Um, cause I'm not gonna talk the rest of this episode. I don't want you- I don't want you guys to have to listen to me for that long, just rambling about what I'm building. Um, but I- I finished up this and I think I actually stop and then you're gonna see me go back through the inside again and start working on that first floor. So, I think I'm gonna leave you guys to it here. And yes, I hope you enjoyed this and the next part should be coming hopefully soon. Um, I have to get that procedure done on Thursday at the surgery center. Um, again, they said that I'm going to be down for about a day or two, but they said to keep quiet, but I can still move and stuff. So I might just, you know, sit and chill and build for a little bit if I'm feeling up to it. But like, I don't know exactly how they're doing it. Like, they didn't really explain it too explicitly to me, but they are going to... Um, Basically, there's a spot in your spinal cord where they can inject stuff into, and it's kind of making me cringy just to think about it, um, where they're going to inject some anti-inflammatory- oh god, yeah, I was having issues, I was having a lot of issues trying to move that freaking thing back. Um, they're going to inject- what are they going to do? Um, an epidural, which is what they give to pregnant women, but uh, it is a pain reliever, so that's what they're going to put in their- in there into my nerves and also an anti-inflammatory steroid um, because steroids are known to be helpful in this sort of instance so hopefully it'll work. Um, I really like the way these flowers looked but they kept sinking it in the stupid stairs so I couldn't put it on the outside like I in the front like I wanted to. Um, nah. Did I move the wishing wheel yet? I don't remember. don't think so. Yeah I did. I did. JK. I totally moved it. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow for the next video. I'm not sure yet what it's going to be. It might be Bachelorette. I'm thinking it's probably going to be Bachelorette because we haven't done it. Um, uh, oh gosh, it's going to be Eliminations too, isn't it? Oh, okay. But I will see you guys next time and I hope you enjoyed the speed build and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!